Good morning, Friar Nation. I'm Nathan Gonzalez. And I'm Shannon O'Loughlin. And we are here with Fenwick Broadcasting to give you the latest news. In Fenwick sports, both the boys' and girls' basketball teams defeated their opponents in the senior night games. Thank you to seniors EJ Hosty, Cam Bruska, Melissa Modica, Allie Heyer, Bella Daly, and Raina Ford for your years of hard work. Yeah. I love all of them. Me too. In the world of aquatics, Fenwick will be hosting the Swimming Sectionals Meet this Saturday in the Dan O'Brien Swim Center. Come out and support our Swimmer Friars. Friars. As state competitions gear up, Fenwick's wrestling team has sent four wrestlers downstate. Good luck to wrestlers Aiden Burns, Finn McGee, Vince Filavante, and Jack Paris as they hit the mats. Finally, a huge congratulations to sophomore bowler Olivia Cameron on, qualify on qualifying for the state finals and also placing fourth overall. Olivia is the first girl in Fenwick history to qualify for state. Good luck, Olivia. You got this. In other news, Fenwick has hosted the regional ACES competition last Tuesday. ACES stands for Academic Challenges in Engineering and Sciences. During this competition, Fenwick swept the floor to the first place winners, Cole Yude for Bio and Chem, Declan Huggins for Computer Science, Anka Lampe for English, and Quinn Hines for Math and Physics. Be sure to wish our ACES team luck as they advance to sectional competition taking place in March. The Expressive Arts Department is booming with activities this month, especially choir. Last week, Fenwick's choir held their winter concert. During this, they performed many songs. This week, the choir travels to New York City, where they are currently performing in nearby churches and enjoying the theater culture. Wow. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yes. Additionally, Fenwick's concert band and Wynn Ensemble are traveling this Saturday to perform in the State of the Art Band Contest held at Providence High School. Last year, Fenwick got nominated for having the best woodwinds. We can't wait to hear about this year's accomplishments. Finally, don't forget to come support our friars and musicians at their winter instrumental concert next Thursday at 7 p.m. in the Roger Fresnel Auditorium. Now let's hear from Mirko. Mirko? Hello everybody, I'm Mirko Yakshich with Frederick Broadcasting, and today I'm here with Key Club President Ava Saunders. Ava, can you explain to us a little bit what Key Club is and what how you got into it? Um, so Key Club is basically a national service club slash organization. Fenwick is just the Oak Park branch of it, but like basically every school has one. We work with the Kiwanis Club, which is a service club that holds fundraisers and collects volunteers for different charities and overall just like helps the communities that they're in. And what's been your like favorite experience so far through doing that? Um, I love when we volunteer at the farmers markets. We do that every year. Um, in Oak Park, we raise money. Kiwanis Club makes donuts, mm -hmm. and you have to get up super early at like 5.30 in the morning, but it's really worth it because it's such a fun time, and the donuts are really good. And how can others who want to join the club, how can they join, and uh, what's something you're excited that's coming up? Um, well, we are collecting like awards, and basically the key club leaders have the opportunity to go to a summit. Mm -hmm. um, it's coming up in like April or May. And then if you want to get involved, you can email me, you can email Mr. Slager, um, basically talk to like any of us or Grant Schleider, Benicio Linares are the vice presidents. So just get in touch with any of us. Great, thank you, Ava. Mm -hmm. This big Mirko Yakshic. Thanks, Mirko. Absolutely. On Monday, students attended a SHIELD meeting, which gives freshmen the opportunity to know their classmates and become familiarized with other Fenwick traditions. This week, upperclassmen led the Minute to Win It competition, where freshmen competed for team points. Thank you to all of our leaders and staff who make the SHIELD program possible. We can't wait which, to see which team has the most points at the end of the year. Gotta love the class of 26, Gotta right? Gotta love them. Gotta uh, love them. Mm -hmm. It is that time of year again, Friars. That is time for the Black Friars Gala you don't want to pass up the opportunity to help recognize our honorees for this year's gala. You can purchase your ad today in honor of our Hall of Fame inductees, Bob Cooney, class of 70, Chuck Wolin, class of 27, or to honor the Lumen Tranquillum recipient, our beloved Mother's Club. All funds raised from the gala will directly benefit our marvelous Fenwick students. Tickets to the 70th annual 
Black Friars Gala, held in Chicago's Old Post Office on April 28th, will be available soon. For more information, click the link below. Yep. Here at Fenwick, we have many incredible faculty and staff members. This week, we welcome Ms. Leone, the Class of 2025 Student Body Counselor. While this is only Ms. Leone's first year at Fenwick, she has already fallen in love with the close-knit community here at Fenwick. She says her favorite part of her job is working with her students. Thank you, Ms. Leone, for, what, for all that you do. And finally, have you noticed more students in the hall this past week? That's because Shadow Days are back. This spring, 7th graders and accepted 8th graders will have the opportunity to see what it takes to be a future friar. If you happen to see a shadow, give them a Fenwick welcome. And that's all we have for you here today. I'm Nathan Gonzalez. And I'm Shannon O'Laughlin. And on behalf of the Fenwick Broadcasting Club, have a great weekend, friars. And make good choices. Friar up.